Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be going through a case study of one of my new stores I've been able to bring from zero to 50k in 50 days just off Google Shopping. You know, I've been able to peak at 2.5k days and hover around roughly 1k days. So Google Shopping definitely has potential because I'm able to actually get much higher profit margin compared to Facebook ads. Facebook ads, I'll be roughly spending nearly 50% or more of the product's profit margin. But when it comes to Google Shopping, cost of purchases are way, way lower, but you are gonna get less sales. So the best way to scale on Google Shopping is to scale horizontally. Get many, many products as much as possible. So I actually went ahead and got you guys a screenshot of my store. As you can see, um, this is a bit delayed. It's only up to the 5th of July. Um, I have hit, you know, several 2K days um, since then. But, you know, I roughly did over 50K within under 50 days. So, you know, I'm being generous with the number I'm putting on my thumbnail. Um, but, you know, as you can see, here's a screenshot of my actual Google Ads feed. As you can see, I have actually three winners here, which I have over 50 purchases and you know one of them is getting conversions at nine dollars per conversion which is insanely cheap um, the profit margin on the item is roughly twenty dollars actually this is AUD so that means it's roughly seven USD cost per purchase and my profit margin is 20 USD so as you can see you cannot get these numbers off Facebook ads now second product um, this product price is $21.98 so the first product um, the profit margin is $20. The second one is actually also $20. The cost per purchase is quite, it's actually more expensive. So I'm gonna try to have to optimize this product after this video. Um, next product, this one costs $59.90. I'm getting 15 conversions. Um, the profit margin on this product is actually pretty insane. It's probably like 30 USD. And as you can see, my cost per purchase is only six to seven USD, so it's insanely cheap. So definitely the profit margins are way, way larger. But as you can see, I'm sort of hovering around 2K days, so I can't scale to the moon and hit those, you know, 10K days, 20K days, or 30K days off Google Shopping. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna go through my whole process. As you can see, I sort of know what I'm doing because if you guys have dabbled in Google Shopping, then you know this search, ABS, top IS, means how well your products are ranking. And as you can see, all my products are ranking in the top two positions. So that means I'm doing pretty, pretty well. So let's see what I did. The first thing I did was I had 300 plus products on my store. And what I did was I actually uploaded all the items and I tested all the items at once. Um, what you do is you install Google Shopping on your Shopify store, then you upload the items onto Google Merchant Center, then you bring those items to Google AdWords. So if you guys want an in-depth review, definitely hit me up. I can walk you through the whole process. There's application for one-on-one -on -one mentorships in the description below. Other than that, drop in the comment below if you guys really, really want a walkthrough. I'll actually start a new store and go through the whole process with you from scratch if you want. Two, I set up all my items for Google Shopping. What a lot of people are doing right now is they're putting up items one at a time and testing it as if it's like Facebook where you're testing product by product, but that's definitely so not time efficient. And what I've done is I've basically set up and allowed Google to basically advertise all my items on my store. If the products didn't work and it was unprofitable, I'll kill it then. But then I'll be left with the best of the best. Um, basically, probably 10% of your store, say 30 products in your store, for me, 10% of 300 is 30, would actually be profitable and scalable. Three, you let Google do all the work. So the good thing about Google Shopping is Google does all the work. It searches for the buyers. It ranks your products. So Google does all the work. So that's why it's way better than Facebook. It's something that I do on the side and I check every one or two days. Can you believe that? I don't optimize, touch it. You know, some days I just leave it for a week. If things are stable, I just leave it for a week. Don't touch it and come back to it in a week and optimize things, add new products, stuff like that. And it's definitely more superior when it comes to automation and looking for something that does the work on its own. So four, what would happen is Google would actually rank your products, basically get you purchases based on your product description, product title, tags, photos, stuff like that. Google will automatically rank it, people search different things, your item will come up and that's how it works. 
that's a good thing. Google does everything. Unlike Facebook, where you're just competing against other people, and you're gonna to have to monitor it every day. Five, as I said again, Google will automatically find you guys winners. That's why it's really, really good. You're putting up 300 products, and Google will automatically rank the products and see which products are in need and getting a lot of searches and getting a lot of sales. Hence, Google Shopping, it's so superior to Facebook. Facebook doesn't do anything. Like You are doing all the work. You're doing all the targeting. You're doing all the ads. You're basically doing all the bidding, everything you're doing yourself. Whereas Google Shopping does everything for you, hence it's so much easier. Only downside is it's not scalable. You're limited to the amount of people that search for the item. So if 100 people search for the items every day, that's a limited amount of people that's gonna see the product. That's the only downside. Hence, you wanna scale with more and more products and that's how you even reach higher days. So what I'm gonna do is you know hire some VAs, upload and get to the point where I'm at 900 products and see if my store actually three X's because you know the mentality is if you three X the amount of products you have you'll three X your revenue on Google Shopping so I'm going to test that out and I'll definitely update you guys on how that goes but yeah Google automatically find your winners hence it's so good so every day I'd go in I'll look for products that have over three purchases and what I'll do is I'll actually separate it onto its own campaign basically when I'm testing the 300 products it's on its own campaign when you find winners, you actually want to bring it off into a separate campaign. So this is pretty complicated, but those who are doing Google Shopping, you'll probably understand what I'm saying. But you know, if you don't, hit me up, apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship in the description below, and I'll probably help you out, hold you by hand, screen share, and show you everything, what, everything step by step. Um, other than that, if you want me to make a video, drop it in the comment below, and I'll definitely make a video on, on how to bring products into a separate campaign and advertise it on its own. Now the advantages of doing this, rather than just leaving it into the whole stores campaign, is it will allow you to have a separate budget, have a separate bid, and you could optimize the keywords for that product. Um, because when you're optimizing keywords for the whole store product, you'll, you'll be you know looking through a bunch of different keywords and it does get confusing because there's just so many keywords for 300 plus items. So it's really, really hard to separate and look for the keywords for that individual item. Now seven, eventually, as you keep the campaign running for a longer period of time, your products will get more and more higher ranked, you'll get more purchases, you'll get more clicks, and that's, you know, Google will then rank your items higher and higher, you'll get more and more winners. You'll start finding products starting to optimize and you get more purchases. So it's actually good in the long run, so it optimizes on its own. That's something Facebook definitely doesn't do. It doesn't automatically optimize on its own, if you're not getting purchases, then you're not getting purchases. But on Google, if you're not, there's a chance that might optimize and you will get purchases again. Hence, Google is really, really good and automated in that way. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. This is basically a blueprint on how I was able to go from zero to 50K within 50 days on a brand new store, everything basically new and definitely um, things I didn't mention, but I'll give you guys extra things, but once you get 50 purchases on an item, you definitely can use a data. So for example, if you're looking at this product, you know, these two products have gotten over 2000 clicks. So that's over 2000 view contents that I'm then doing look like audiences on Facebook and getting even more purchases and scaling on Facebook as well. So definitely you could still utilize Facebook ads to even take your Google shopping store to the next level. So those are things that I've been testing and playing around with. And I'll definitely share the results with you. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is a pretty solid breakdown of everything I've been doing to go from zero to 50 K within these 50 days. And Google shopping does have a lot of potential. So definitely still a lot for me to learn and still a lot for me to even pass on. So like basically so many other little things when it comes to scaling, optimizing, um, getting your products to rank higher, stuff like that, that I'm definitely gonna share in the future. So if you like these videos and you wanna learn more about Google Shopping, definitely chuck it in the comment below to let me know that you guys are interested. Those who wanna be handheld through the process, there's an application for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program in the description on this video. So definitely apply for that. But yeah, other than that, comment if you have any questions below. Like this video if you liked it. Also, don't forget to join my Facebook group, E-Commerce Legacy. It's getting super, super active. Everyone's helping each other out. I'm answering all the questions. You get more access with me, so definitely join that. It's really, really helpful. But yeah, last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace.